Traditional Irish breakfast. It is December 31st. Right now we just left uh, breakfast at O'Shea O'Shea's? Was it O'Shea's? Yeah. <laughs> um, and we're headed back to the hotel right now. Our tour bus is finally there and we're gonna just gonna do some sightseeing, um, some city exploring of Dublin. And right now we're just walking back. The city streets. On the city streets. Dublin. It's, the hotel is really close to the place we just had breakfast. We had traditional Irish breakfast. Um, you have to show them around our hotel later. Yeah, I'll, oh, I'll show you the hotel. It's like it's apartment nice. style. It is nice. It's just a weird setup. But um, we're going to go see some different stuff today in Dublin. So, yeah. Fan Morrison and the Pogues as well. On the right hand side here, this is the River Liffey. And it's the main river that flows men and horses fighting in battle. That's made from melted down French cannons that were fired in that battle. So this is a pretty big park. It's past the bridge. You might notice its shape. It's designed in such a way so that it's, it kind of looks like an open book. It's designed by Ed Takes Place, which is the final story in a collection of short stories called Dubliners. It's been derelict dining rooms years ago. The row of houses along the left, sorry, the row of houses along the right here is the Institute of Education, is one of our high schools. What? So the schools are closed today, but there's no So this is a man-made hill that was made in 1979 for Pope John Paul. John Paul's second mass. And this cross was built for his mass. And a million people showed up. A million people were here at Phoenix Park. Um, one person died. One, one, per person. <laughs> one person died, one person gave birth. Yep. Both males. Phoenix Park apparently is two times the size of Central Park in New York City. And yeah. Girl, work it. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. I know. They probably didn't take us to that side of the park. Dangerous. They look like, they look like puppies. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We're going into St. Patrick's Cathedral. These are some of the war memorials. You would never really see war memorials in a Catholic church or cathedral in Ireland. Um, this is an Anglican cathedral. The Anglican church is considered like the Church of England. And
and they used to have meetings in different parts of the city and this is one of the places where they, they used to have their meetings. Uh, they're kind of non-existent now, I don't think they, they exist anymore, but they used to have meetings here. They, they were called the, the Feel the fabric of history. Stained glass. All the stained glass artwork in this cathedral is so beautiful. This is so pretty. Functional metal. We've been walking on this. Embroidered cloth. Wow. Whoa. This feels hard. 13th century piece of stone. Carved stone. Okay. That is so sick. I like the drawings so you can put over there too. Okay, so right now we're at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we just did some walking around. Uh, we had a tour guide tell us a little bit about the history of St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's really pretty. What do you think of it? It's sick. <laughs> I don't know. It is sick, but all the uh, stained glass is so beautiful like i've never really been inside like a church like this and it's just i took so many photos and you'll i'll put them in here and you can see all the stained glass but like the architecture of this cathedral is just insanely crazy beautiful like look at all that and what did he say about the tile um so it's not the original tire the original tire tile was 800 years old this one is 200 okay so pretty old but a replica of it oh we can go see the original tile yeah. up there can we uh -huh. let's go look at the original tile and also we're gonna look at who's buried what's know, his name jonathan uh witherspoon no witherspoon jonathan jonathan swift, swift yeah swift. <laughs> something like jonathan that swift. who was a writer okay look at this Guinness, the Guinness family, he signed the lease for 9,000 years. Uh, does anyone want to take a guess at how many points of Guinness it would take to fill all the way to the top? 200,000. Close. It would take about 14.3 million glass. points to hold all the way up there. Well, good guess, good guess. And that's an awful lot of Guinness. It would take us a few days to create that. But it's also just over three times the population of Ireland. So if every single person in the country went down tonight to celebrate the new year by treating themselves to give or take three points of Guinness, it would just about fit all the way up there. Um, but folks. But this looks like a barrel. A barrel. <laughs> we are at the Guinness storehouse on our self guided tour with all of the EF people. This is sick.
to the tasting. So we're in the Guinness storehouse and we are headed to the actual tasting of Guinness. I've never tried Guinness. Have you had Guinness? Uh, no. Really? I think so. Yeah, I've never tried Guinness, so we're in Ireland. It's a place to try it. We're in Arthur Guinness's, like, this is his legacy, you know? So, time to try some. Conan O'Brien, Tom Cruise, Queen, Barack Obama and Michelle and Clinton, oh, Paul Rudd. 
Arthur's was actually packed and pretty full, so we're gonna eat lunch somewhere else. But right now we're gonna head up to the Gravity Bar, where it's like a 360 uh, view of Dublin City. Gravity bar right now. Everyone's pretty much up here. Again, it's too please. Hell yeah. He's pouring us a Guinness right now. Here, put him in your pocket. Look at that. 30 million bubbles. 30 million bubbles in each pint. Thank you. It is 1.26 p.m. I am drunk in Dublin. I am buzzed, I am tipsy. I don't drink beer, I hardly drink alcohol. Um, and when I do, I'm an extreme lightweight, so it doesn't take a lot for me to get stuck. But uh, I was trying to say tipsy and buzzed at the same time, which would be tuzzed. It doesn't take a lot for me to get tuzzed, okay? So, and these Irish people here don't mess. This Guinness, I'm almost done with it. It's actually really, really good. breakfast this morning which was great but you know that was hours ago so I'm waiting for Hayden to get out of the bathroom he's been in the bathroom a while I really hope he's not throwing up oh good he's right there did you throw up no okay good I thought I was going to but I'm, I didn't you were in the bathroom for a while so anyways um, we are gonna head to Dublin um, town and find a place to eat our tour guide Gavin which is great I love him recommended um, another place called like Arthur's Bar so we'll try a different Arthur's and hopefully eat there um, but you know bucket list wasn't really on my bucket list to be drunk in Ireland but it is now and I checked it off so um, today's New Year's Eve also so we're gonna party hard tonight um, but yeah we are gonna head out here pretty soon so sorry if I'm like in the next couple segments Next segments? Is that the right word? The next couple like vlogs. Next vlog. Yeah, I'm a little next bit. <laughs> I'm a little out of it. It's because I usually don't drink and I'm drinking because I'm in Ireland, so I have to do this. Are you good? Are you ready to go get some food in your stomach? Yeah. Okay, let's go get some food.
So this is a photo of our entire EF group minus our tour guide, Gavin, who was taking the picture. There were 45 of us. Um, out of all my EF groups I've ever been on, this is definitely the biggest one. And if you have any questions about traveling with EF, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Oh, hi, pretty boy. Hi. Hey. So pretty. Okay, so once again, the second Arthur's was full. So we're going to go somewhere else. Where are we going? Boiling Castle. Boiling Castle? Boiling Castle. Okay, so now we're headed to Boiling Castle. are you? Oh, very hungry. And we finally made it to the Bull and Castle because Arthur's was full and this is what the waiter recommended. So, finally, after a little bit of a journey, here we are. So, the other place was actually full in book two, so they recommended this place. So now, here we are. They said it's pub food. What is this place called? Uh, don't leave. Um. <laughs> Patty Max. Patty Max. This place is called Patty Max. We finally, what is this, the fourth place? Like the fifth place? We finally found a place. We have a table. We're getting food. And I'm very excited because I'm starving. And by side? You look. Let's see it. Hold it up again, Jared. What photo you're going to look at? Jared, hold it up again. Fucking Jodie Foster. No, you don't. But I, as a kid, I can see Jodie Foster. Literally. I see it. Well, if I look like Lily Reinhardt. Lily Reinhardt's beautiful, so yeah. So I had to go to the bathroom real quick, and it was down this weird, creepy stairs thing. But anyways, I'm not kidding when we said we literally had to go to five different places to find a place to eat. There's Mandar asking where the bathroom's at. It took us because everywhere was booked it was new year's eve day new year's eve day so it made sense for instagram or facebook instagram i mean i use all i'm instagram. a social media slut so like you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom finally we got food your omelet looks delicious are you excited <laughs> One of the best parts about traveling with EF is that you get to meet all these strangers from around the US and you get to really click and connect with them. This is the group that I mainly hung out with throughout the entire trip. It goes me, Hayden, Chris, Chloe, Brittany, Clayton, Jared, Cece, and Mandar. And they were absolutely amazing uh, to get to know. And this was our first time um, really eating and sitting and chatting with each other um, outside of the giant group. But I think I'm going to end this vlog right here just because we're already a little bit past 20 minutes and it's New Year's Eve. So the next vlog is going to be filled with a bunch of that footage. And when I mean that footage is a lot of drunk footage. So be prepared for next time's vlog. But thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you next time.